Intense, man. So, where did you come from? Well, you know what? That's a good question. I'm just a sperm. I've been hanging around for a couple years now, just like swimming around, saying what up to my homies. And... Pretty good, man. Well, if you don't know, at least I know. The winning sperm started out as a young diploid cell, all nice 46 chromosomes. Then prophase happened. DNA synthesis crossing over, you know, where all the chromosomes hug each other and everything. And that's why this one right here is just, you know, yeah. unique. I'm special, right? And then metaphase happened. You know, where they all lined up, little spindle fibers came and grabbed his little chromosomes. And then, you know, anaphase, where they just split. No, that was a pretty sad time, actually. I had a friend and had to split. Sorry, sorry. But it brought you here, man, so it's okay. And after that, you know, then telephase happened. Where they, you know, there was two little daughter cells. They were so cute. But they were still not, they, they were still not enough. Then, metaphase two happened. Where well, they all lined up again, those two little cells, spin of fibers came. Then anaphase two happened again. They just split again. You know, I just, what I don't understand is how you are a ISPN broadcaster. I mean, pretty. You know a lot about biology here. <sighs> I've been asked this many times. Okay. And then, the glorious telephase two. Which brought this little guy into this world. You know, he was one of the cells. And that's just from one cell, so you know, he was a lucky man. This is Sperm Duncan from ISPN, signing off. Almost it's like, hello, Sperm Duncan here from the last interview with this winning sperm. Now we are in a part of the show where we answer your questions. It's like, so let's see what this first question is. So the viewers are asking, what's the difference between what you just did, sexual reproduction, and asexual reproduction? Asexual reproduction, Mr. Duncan, can I call you sperm? It's fine, it's fine. From, from okay. basis. Yeah, cool. Wanna come up sometime? No, 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 I'm sorry. Not that no, I'm sorry. Cool. Okay. So basically, asexual reproduction is when one organism goes through the process of cloning, and its offspring is genetically identical. Ah, so what did you just perform? Sexual reproduction, sperm. This is where two different gametes come together and make a miracle of life. So you're saying that these offspring are genetically different from the parents? Yes. Very, very good. Very good. Baby. Ah. 
whatever you want to call it. Yeah. All right, so let's see the next question. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between what you went through to get here and what, uh, what is it? Mitosis. Okay, so what I went through is basically meiosis. And meiosis is where it has an extra split. So you're saying that this extra split makes it so that there's 23 chromosomes in the cell instead of the normal 46? Yes. Ah, so these are very special cells. Yes. So you're a very special cell. I'm a very special cell. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> okay, so let's see. And then mitosis, is that just when there's, there's just one split, right? Yes. So that just means that it just makes a normal cell. Yes. Boring, old cell. Boring, very dull. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so next question. So let's see. This is, I think this is the last question. Last question? Let's yeah, right. Okay. All right. It says, how does what you just did ensure the continuity of the human race? Continuity of the human race. Okay. Well, sperm. The more offspring are produced, the more traits there are. And if there is ever a dramatic environmental change, one of those traits would be more likely to survive that environmental breakthrough. Well, thank you. I think you know. I think we've answered all your questions. So you know, next time, tune in next time. Hi, it's Pian, International Sperm Production Network. This is Sperm Duncan signing off. Good night, y'all. So these are the viewer questions now. Sometimes something beautiful happens in this world. You don't know how to express yourself, so you just gotta sing. Pretty man, you know. I mean, like I was the only one out of trillions sperm, but I was the lucky. I was the chosen one, you know. Yeah. So where did you come from, my friend? Well, I started out as a haplo cell. Diploid, diploid. Tune in next time for ISP International Sperm Production Network. This is Sperm Duncan signing off. Good night, y'all. Yeah, that took forever.